Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. The Lord Jehovah spoke with me again. The Lord Jehovah spoke with me this first night. And when he spoke with me this first night, he showed me the big meeting in Nakuru. It will be really, really full. It is so big. The entire church is full all the way up with a lot of people up there. And the entire church is packed to capacity, bumper to bumper. It will really, really, really be full. And then I see a lot of people also full outside. And then uh, as I was about to leave the meeting, when I was lifting up my left prophetic arm uh, to pray for people before I step out of the meeting, so when I lifted up my left prophetic arm to pray for people, and I said, Mighty Father in heaven, please visit this place. And when I just said that immediately, massive power of God hit the entire church and outside. And many, many, many people collapsed. It was unbelievable. It was a tremendous number. I see them. I see a lot of people. Many, many, many people were touched by the Lord. The glory of the Lord fell into the church and outside. So the Lord himself is saying that he himself is coming to visit the church. He's coming to visit the meeting that will take place in Nakuru. And uh, it will be a mighty, mighty meeting. Many people also be healed in that touch at the same time. But as you have heard from the senior archbishop and uh, all the other bishops, this meeting is going to be a historic meeting because uh, for those who are coming from other countries, the archbishops and national overseers from other nations, you are going to see for the first time, firsthand, how the man of God, the mighty prophet, has been discipling this land into this highway of righteousness to sustain and be steadfast unto holiness. They are going to be able to see now why this revival, even after 13 years, is actually going higher and higher and higher and the glory is becoming bigger, the visitation of the Godhead himself is here, and the massive healing, the millions of people returning to the Lord, and the proclamation of the gospel of righteousness, righteousness, holiness, holiness, all the time, and how it has been sustained over the many years. We are so much aware that many revivals were intended by the Lord to come and do a renewal in the church, in many places all over the world, you know the names of the places. But those revivals did not last. But you see that this revival is lasting. It is growing bigger. It's like every other meeting, every next meeting is always thousandfold greater in its visitation than the former meeting. And so when those from outside will come, like the ones we have invited, uh, the archbishops and uh, the national overseers, when they will come for the first time, first hand, they will see how the Lord has sustained this revival long haul for a very long time and is growing stronger and everyone is steadfast and holding on to righteousness and they have not lost it. That is the opportunity they have when they come. And yet, for the Kenyan church, the many, many, many thousands of pastors that are coming, I know the pastors of this ministry alone are more than 20,000. So they will fill the church until there will be excess pastors who may have to be told to sit at the tent out. But I'm also aware that there are a lot of pastors and bishops coming from other denominations. So they will be given priority, as I've instructed, that uh, the, then, then the pastors of this ministry will move out and give them priority to sit inside and be at the place where the word will be delivered in the church. So uh, for, for the pastors and the bishops of this nation, the overseers, for them they will have a different experience because there's going to be an intensive discipleship that will take place in the big church in Nakuru at the seat of the Archbishop. That church is the seat of the Archbishop. He is the one hosting the man of God. And that is where now the Kenyan pastors will have this grand opportunity 
to partake, to, 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 to get involved in a serious, intensive discipleship. And as they will see, it will be so vast, so extensive and very profound. It will be like having a tremendous expedition into the entire Bible and to prepare, to use that to prepare the church for the coming of the Messiah. That is what will happen there. For those coming from out of faith, it will be so shocking and surprising and startling to see how actually the Lord has been discipling the nation, discipling the nation, discipling the nation on one thing, righteousness, 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 one thing, holiness, 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 all throughout, and how that has been the fire engine that has sustained this revival, making it greater and greater year after year. I'm sure all of you now that were here from before, you can see that the revival of this year, 2016, is much, 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 much greater than the former, that ever was. That can be seen. So it has been an exponential growth. And so those coming from out, you'll be able to find out the secrets of Kenya now, the secrets of this land of revival, the secrets of this church. How has this church, this church been able to sustain this revival without losing it? So that will be seen in the intensive discipleship that the, the Lord sends his messenger to directly get involved in and disciple these people. Put the word in their mouths. You see a lot of people with books, hardcover books and pen, writing nonstop as in, I will never hear this again. That would be a wonderful way to disciple those overseers from abroad also, that they may supplant it, transplant it in their countries. That they may understand that actually there is zero relenting here. Zero tolerance and continue Continuous pursuit of righteousness. And that is the secret that keeps this revival. Remember, this revival is the holy revival of the Lord. And so only holiness can sustain it. But for the church in Kenya, as much as it's going to be also an eye-opener, an awakening, but it will take you deeper because in the teachings that will take place there, there will be different topics and subtopics, and they will run for three days. In fact, these teachings I can announce here, these teachings require 28 sessions, 28 sessions, and we have only six sessions or so, if I understand. Maybe plus, minus can be eight, up to, we can stretch up to eight. So this will be really a very wonderful opportunity to go deep into the Word and understand what the Lord is saying at this hour to the church. And so, already this night, the Lord showed me already I was in the meeting, that means I am coming. He is sending me to the meeting. The Lord is now bringing me to you. I saw myself there already. And as I lifted up my left prophetic arm like this to pray and ask the Lord to visit this place, that means the church, then a humongous power of God hit the church. And I can see people up there. The higher places touched, mode. People are mode in bulk, mode, mode. And I saw a lot of people slayed in different places. Some of them were brought, brought out, you know. And a lot of people were touched, some baptized, some healed, some delivered, and everything will take place there. So this is just the amount of love that the Lord has for the church because I've seen the coming of our Lord Jesus, the Messiah. And I know that uh, sometimes... In Kenya now, there's so much politics, politics, politics going on, campaigns and what. But for us as a church, we are preparing, preparing, preparing for the coming of the Messiah and nothing else. For us, it's about the coming of the Messiah because the Bible says that a lot of things will delude men. Men will be totally deluded with uh, the celebrations in their homes, with uh, visiting people, uh, getting married, marrying, giving into marriage. You know what scripture talks about the coming of the Messiah. So even as many nations will be doing other things, Kenya doing its own things, but for us as a church, we are going to focus on preparing the glorious garment for the glorious coming of the Messiah, period. Shalom.
Oh, 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 oh,